So I had an interesting case last week that was uh, surrounding a rendering issue within reporting services. And it's rare that we get a pretty straightforward repro from a rendering perspective. So I wanted to show this off because uh, it was kind of interesting to look at and to go through and understand what was actually happening. So uh, let me start off by just showing you the report. So this is a report I put together. Um, it's loosely based on the customer's report that um, had come in. Uh, the customer was not Darth Vader. And the what happened was is uh, we'll focus on the uh, holding prisoners field, which shows 15 right now. So what happened is that the customer said that the field that this comes off of sometimes can be a number and sometimes can be something other than a number. So they may put in like one and then ampersand and then one or something else. Um, so what happens is when we change that, so let's just go one ampersand one. We'll update that. And if we refresh this report, in my case, it's a blank field here. Um, in their report, it was actually showing a uh, pound error. Um, and so when I say that, because I, I had some questions when I went through this uh, with some engineers on our side, just to be clear, this is the error that they would see. Or that's the text that they would see for that field. So the report still ran, but the field itself had this in there. Whenever we see that type of uh, field output of hashtag error, typically it's one of two things. Either one, it's the data that's coming into the report, or it's the report itself. So something in the RDL is causing this uh, hashtag error. And uh, more specifically, it's usually like an expression of some kind. So let's go ahead and take a look at, let me close this, and let's go take a look at the actual report itself. And so if we look at the report, we've got a bunch of fields here, everything's great, and we notice that holding prisoners is uh, an actual expression. So let's go take a look at this expression. Okay, let me pull this out so that we can read it. Um, and so what we see here is that we've got um, what appears to be three separate fields within an if expression. And so basically what it's going to say, what this says is, hey, if the holding value is equal to this, then we're going to show deck.value. Otherwise, if it's not equal to that, we're going to go to prisoners.value. And we know that we're hitting prisoners.value because we were getting uh, the, uh, well, so we're getting prisoners.value because we know that the holding value is not equal to cell block 1138. Um, if we go back to our data, um, we know that cell block here shows, um, where is it, uh, or holding shows detention block AA23. And so that does not equal cell block 1138. And we can also see that from the report perspective. We know that holding is detention block AA23. And so we should be hitting the prisoner's value. So we know it's the prisoner's value. So one thing we can start right off the bat is, okay, well, what happens if we just throw prisoner value in there? So let's go back. So we'll modify the, uh, we'll modify the expression here. And we'll just say, look, let's let's narrow this down a little bit, and let's go to uh, just the value itself for prisoners.value. So let's go ahead and edit this. We'll hit OK. We'll do save. Deploy it. Deployed. Good. And then if we go back to our report server, come back in. Now we see the actual hashtag error. Interesting. So instead of showing the value for prisoners, now we actually get this hashtag error. So what could be going on? So let's go back, um, and we see that this is just pulling from the field prisoners. So we're not. There's no other expression here. Um, it's it's a regular field, and we're just coming in. If we go and look at uh, the prisoners, you know, we're showing the one and one. If we change this back to 15. Uh, let's go back to our report. We can refresh, and it shows just fine. So now the, the raw prisoners field is showing the right value if we don't have some sort of text. So let's prove this a little bit by going back in, and let's just put the letter A. Make sure it's not any some weird thing with the ampersand. Let's go refresh. 
back to hashtag error. So it looks like anything that we have in there that's a string is causing a problem. Um, so this kind of was interesting in terms of, well, where do we go? Because the prisoners field here is, um, it, it looks like we're just pulling a straight field and there's nothing getting in the way. So what do you do? And so my question here when I saw this was, okay, well, let's go look at the prisoners field and see what's there. Uh, incidentally, before we do that, uh, there were when I was talking to my uh, mentor group about this, uh, they, they threw out a lot of great questions, and these were all things that I looked at. Um, it, one of the things I looked at was, okay, well, what's the, what's the field type for this, or what's the data type for that field? And so we come through, and we can see it's just a varchar 50. Uh, that's what it was in the customer's case. So it's just a straight text field, nothing special about it. Uh, the other thing was, you know, is there any type of formatting that's on this? And the formatting comes into play on the text box itself, um, and that comes in the play of just, you know, we can assign number items, so like currency or uh, any type of regional type behaviors. In the customer's case, and in my case, it's just set to default, so there's nothing special about that either. Um, and so really what we want to do is let's go look at this field itself and see what's going on. So if we open up data set, uh, we can come down and we see that there's two prisoners here. Interesting. Um, so in the customer's case, they actually had a lot of fields here, and uh, you'll see this underscore, and then you'll see the regular prisoners. The underscore one was way at the bottom, so I didn't see that at first. Um, and so if we go look at this, let's go look at the field properties, um, and we can see that it's an expression. Um, so the rest of these are pulling from the raw fields in the report or in the data set. Uh, this one's an actual expression. Um, within reporting services, you can pull in what's called a calculated field or a query field. A query field means it's going to be based off of an actual field in the data set. The calculated field means that we're going to have some, it's just a calculated thing based off of some expression. And in this case, we know that there's an expression there. So if we go and look at this expression, we see the following. Okay, so what do we got here? Uh, so we're saying, look, if the prisoner's value is nothing, we're going to give it n slash a. Um, if the prisoner's value is zero, we're going to give it n slash a. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to give the prisoner value itself. So uh, we've got two different if statements here. Um, so we're first checking to make sure it's not you know, null or something of that nature. Um, and then our second check is to make sure that it's not equal to zero. Um, so what's happening here is that we're actually trying to equate the value uh, to a zero. Um, so what this means is that we're, we're comparing whatever this value is for prisoners, and we're comparing that uh, to an integer value. Um, so when we go to do that, the expression engine says we're, we're getting the hint off the zero itself. And when we look at that, we say, okay, zero is an integer value, so I'm, I'm going to compare against an integer. And it's basically doing like an int dot parse on, that, on whatever the prisoner underscore value is. And if we stick a character in there, it's going to throw this hashtag error because, it, look, that's not a... You know, we're, we're having a conversion issue at this point. One thing you can also do, uh, there's a difference between Report Builder and Report Des and, Re and SQL Server Data Tools or the Visual Studio designing tools. Uh, one reason I like doing designing in Visual Studio is because if I go to Preview here, uh, let's make sure we're going to break. Me, okay, so I've got the A in there, so it'll break. Uh, so if we go to Preview here, you get a little hint in Visual Studio that there was a problem. Uh, let's refresh. Okay, we get error. If we come down to the error section, we can see that it says uh, the value expression for the field prisoners contains an error. Input string was not in the correct format. So this tells us there was a problem with that field. Um, we don't get that in Report Builder, and we don't get it on the, the report server side. You won't see anything in the log. So if, uh, if we were to go look in the reporting services log, we wouldn't see this value here. Okay. So we know what the problem is, right? We're trying to convert a, um, we're trying to compare a string to an integer. So the next question is, okay, how do we fix this? Uh, so what we do is just turn the zero into a string. Just put some quotes around it. Uh, let me just do it in here. And go to expression. Some quotes. Go. If we go back to preview, and now we see the A, so it's coming back. So if we change this to one and one, 
go back, refresh. We see one and one now. Um, so if we put back our original expression, let's go back to this. And now we still see the one and one. So it's working perfectly fine now. Um, so that's all it was, was we just needed to, we're, we're comparing that, uh, that string to an integer. And when, we, when the expression host does that, it's trying to get a hint off of the value you're trying to compare it with. Um, and so that's what it tries to do. It tries to make sure it's that same data type. So in this case, we want to compare a string to a string. Um, the integer worked because it's, uh, we can actually do an int.parse on the value and turn it into an integer, and that works successfully. Um, so hopefully uh, this gives you an idea of, uh, of reporting services rendering issues and how you can fix uh, uh, or address when you get a hashtag error. Go look at the expressions that are in the report. Go look at the data that's coming back. And don't forget about uh, any type of calculated fields you may have from a data set perspective. All right. Thanks for watching.